Beware of your comfort zone because the promised land is no comfort zone. Your promised land is going to take effort. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take believing God. It's going to even take fighting some enemies before you can possess that land that God has promised you. I take you to Genesis chapter 11 and the story about Terah, Abraham's father. He left Ere of the Chaldeans to travel to Canaan. Bible says he stopped halfway in Haran. Why? Because Haran was a comfortable space. Haran was familiar territory. They worshiped the same moon god that he worshiped in Ere of the Chaldeans. He was an idolater. Haran was a trading area. He had an opportunity to retail his idols. He was a retailer of idols. And for so many other reasons, Haran was good. Haran was familiar territory. Haran was comfortable for him. And so he never continued. He died in Haran. Sadly, his son would later on continue his journey to the Canaan, to the promised land, and arrive in Canaan. He had to deal with the Canaanites in the promised land. Friend, if you are thinking about the promised land, you have to be ready to put in the work. If you're thinking about the promised land, you cannot be settling in an area of comfort. You must be comfortable with the discomfort because in the promised land, there is discomfort. But God has given to you nonetheless. That's the word for the day. Get out of your comfort zone. Pick up your steps and quicken up your steps to the promised land. That's where God wants you to be. That's the word for the day. I'm Pastor Frederick Anderson from Rima International Bible Church. If you're ever visiting our area, please join us on Sunday for worship. We begin at 11.30. Otherwise, continue following us on our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And please share this word so your community is blessed. God bless you.